All right, Chelsea's asking about breathing issues in young children. And this can absolutely be a uh, red flag for mold. So it's worth testing. Now you you said that you're being blown off by medical, pushed off by medical doctors. So that's not surprising, number one. I imagine they would just give you a puffer and send you on your way. Um, but you could ask the medical system, if you have insurance for it, to check for uh, mold allergies in case they're dealing with an allergy. Now, remember, molds can be allergenic, so you can get respiratory issues, you know, coughing, sneezing, wheezing, uh, uh, runny eyes, uh, kind of thing. But they can also be uh, pathogenic, means they grow, the, like the, the fungus, the mold will grow in you, like you can have an aspergillosis, you know, an aspergillus fungal ball in your lungs or elsewhere, okay? But the, the part that makes most, most people sick is the molds that are toxigenic. So they, they're not just one or the other. You can have ones that are all three. But toxigenic molds are alluding to the mycotoxins that come from those. So not all molds create mycotoxins. And not all molds that create mycotoxins are emitting mycotoxins. But, you know, if you do have stachybotrys, ketomium, you have a, a variety of these. They likely are in a position that they are emitting mycotoxins. And that's the part that makes us sick. That's the part that medical doctors can't test for. They don't know anything about mycotoxins. They don't have labs to, to uh, run tests for mycotoxins. That's why we use functional labs like Mosaic or Vibrant and uh, real time and look for these uh, mycotoxins. But if your um, kids are having breathing issues, I would definitely consider doing the urine mycotoxin lab, which is looking for those mycotoxins. But at the same time, I would be ruling out an allergy. So if your insurance, I doubt your insurance will cover the mycotoxin lab, but at least get uh, allergies checked on those on the molds if you can, and then also do the urine test. And I will put a link with this video. But you, uh, it's not surprising that they're not taking it serious, and they definitely don't know what the root cause is because they're not in the business of finding or fixing root causes. And uh, as I've said before, if you need one-on-one -on -one help and would like me to. Help you go through this and find out what's going on and uh, come up with a protocol to fix it, just uh, reach out. I'll put a link to that. All right, hope that helps a bit, Chelsea. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, aka the Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing. 